the the synergy is gone. Yeah, I, I will say that if 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 they are a core value, that means they're core. They're part of your DNA. Right. And those don't normally change. It's hard to change what drives you. Mm -hmm. I mean, my core value, even though I have I've changed over the years, I have a lot less hair. My core values, <laughs> my core values are still the same. So yeah. the company can also change. The strategies can change. The missions can change. The direction that you go can change. But the core values don't. The core values stay true because they're core. That's what drives your behavior. So if you've got people who really don't have those core values, you're going to find that out pretty soon. Mm. And, and if you made a mistake, then you must rid yourself of that person. You have to, yeah. because it's just going to be too much suffering for both. I believe the story in, in the book was more about somebody who was who had the core values, but just couldn't get past what was needed for that okay. job. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that situation, because they still maintain the core values, why not find another place in the company for that person? Mm -hmm. Or keep that person in a more supporting role and not in that leadership role anymore, but be honest with them and tell them this is what's happening and don't make it a shock. That's respect. That's generosity. That's letting them know this is what's lacking. This is what we need. And over time, they'll see the light. You see the light that you needed to bring somebody in. You let them know you're bringing somebody in because they're aligned with core values and they've done such a good job. You can stay in that position, but we're bringing somebody in at this other level. This is a new level. This is a new level of responsibility, of the, a different job description. And therefore, the, the, the skills and the experience that that person had, who was able to get to, let's say, X, you need X plus two. And so you need an X plus two candidate now. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can stay in that X position, or maybe they move to a different, different position or they moved to even a different department. We had somebody in finance that moved into a project manager position, had no training in that at all, but she had a strong propensity and aptitude to do it. And she's delighted in that role. So I think it's make sure that if they're, they're aligned, if not, get rid of them. If they are, find a place for them. There's probably a place somewhere in the organization. Yeah, that I I love that. I love all of that, and uh, I really um, that makes me want to dig in the book even a little deeper uh, and to understand that. I think ideally people hear about uh, finding companies that share core value, but there are two sides to every aspect of it. Sometimes it's you may not be able to go further because you may not have the talent and skills, and that only, and you could still share. Uh, you know, the core values, but it may not, it may, you may just fall short and that happens a lot. Right. And uh, sometimes then you may need to go somewhere else or go where you can, you can be found. But um, the last thing I do want to talk about, and thank you for sharing all that, is the, uh, the idea of servant leadership. And I know that's something that you believe in. Uh, and I want your perspective and, and how important that has been for you as a leader uh, during the pandemic. Well, um, I, I don't believe every leader has to be a servant. Okay. If you're at war or if you're in a harsh situation where things just have to happen fast, Mm -hmm. Let's call it a turnaround where the company is about to go out of business. It's about to implode and everybody is about to lose their job. That is not a time for servant leadership. Mm -hmm. That is the time for somebody to take charge and just who's experienced and say, this is what we have to do. We have to do it now fast. And there's fast action that has to happen. You're not looking to develop people. You're just trying to keep people alive. You're mm -hmm. trying to keep the organization alive. So uh, now, as much as I believe in servant re leadership, there are times when it's not needed. In fact, it's probably not even uh, a good strategy. Some people call it 
wartime CEOs versus peacetime CEOs. Mm -hmm. I was describing wartime. The peacetime, which is a lot more fun, and what I try to do all the time, was enjoy the ride, is to think about that you, you cannot do it alone. We mentioned teamwork before. Mm -hmm. Once you realize that it requires a team to do everything and that you micromanaging a team will never get that team to be uh, 